Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we have been designing this mega menu using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And this is how it looks. And this is also completely responsive. So if I just decrease the width of this browser window, this is how it will look on a smaller screen. And if I click on this menu icon, we have the menus displayed over here. And if I click on any of these menus, we have the sub menu displayed over here. So it is completely responsive. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this mega menu to your blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in my blogger dashboard. And uh, if you go over here to theme, I'm using this theme called Contemplate, which comes by default with blogger. And let's open this website and let's see how it looks. So if I click on view blog, here we can see this is how our website looks right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add this mega menu at the top over here instead of this header. So let's right click over here and let's click on inspect and let's see how the website is structured. And here we can see we have this header and in that we have all the elements of the header. So we can go ahead and uh, delete this header element from here and add our own content. So for example, if I just delete this, now we can see we don't have any header for our website. So let's go ahead and remove the header tag from our blogger theme code. So let's go over here to theme and let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And let's search for the header tag. So I just press command F or if you're using windows, you can just press control F and let's type less than header. And here we can see we have the header. So I just fold this by clicking on this arrow. And I'll just go ahead and comment this uh, header. So you can just type less than exclamation hyphen hyphen. And for ending the comment, you can just type hyphen hyphen greater than. And now we can see that the whole header is inside this comment. Now this code will not be executed. So if I just save this. And now if you go back to our website and if I refresh this page, now we can see that the header is not being displayed. Now let's go ahead and add this mega menu to our blogger theme code. So I'll just fold this once again. And here after this header, let's add the HTML. So let's go to the source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's copy from this line of code. And let's go all the way till the end. So Here we can see this is the end of the mega menu. So let's select till here and let's copy all this code from here and let's paste it over here. So let's make some space over here and let's paste the mega menu over here. Right here I have pasted all the code for the mega menu and uh, if I now save this. Now if you go back to our website and if I refresh this page. Now we can see that the mega menu is being displayed over here instead of the header. And uh, all the content is displayed over here, but we don't have the images displayed. So if you go back to our code and if you take a look at an image, here we can see we have this image and the source of the image is set to images forward slash laptop dot jpg. But we don't have this images folder in our blogger website. And we also don't have this image called laptop dot jpg. So what we need to do is we need to upload the image somewhere and we need to get the link and paste it over here. Now you can upload the image inside a post or a page of a blogger website itself and get the link and paste it over here. But I will use a service called Cloudinary. So you can store images inside Cloudinary and get the link and paste it over here. So all you have to do is uh, you have to go to cloudinary.com and create a free account and then log into the account and go to media library and you will find this page right here. Now you can click on this upload button and upload the images over here. So let's click on upload and uh, let's click on browse. And here we have all these images uh, which we have in our mega menu. So let's select all of these and let's click on open. And here we can see all the images are being uploaded. And now if we refresh this, here we can see all the images are uploaded. Now let's go ahead and get the link and paste it in our blogger theme code. So you can get the link by clicking on this copy URL button. So first we have AI art two. So let's click on copy URL and let's go back to our code and uh, let's scroll down. 
here we have this image AI art too. So let's select this and paste the updated image. Now we need to do the same for the desktop and the mobile nav. So let's find the other version. So here we have the other image. So I'll just update the link. Right now let's go ahead and get the next link. So here we have the other image which is AI art one. So let's copy the URL and let's paste it over here. And in the same way we need to paste it down in the next nav. So here also we need to paste the link of the image. So in this way you have to go ahead and copy and paste the links. So I'll just quickly go ahead and do that. Right, so I have updated all the links of the images. So let's click on save. And I'll just close Cloudinary. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And let's see whether we have the images. So here we can see all the images are displayed over here. So everything is working all right. Now let's go ahead and add the CSS. So let's go back to our theme code and let's scroll up. And uh, if we scroll up even more here, we can see we have the CSS of the theme code. So let's go ahead and uh, add our custom CSS. So here I'll just create a comment. I'll just type custom header. And uh, let's go back to our source code and let's go to the CSS file. And let's copy all the CSS from uh, this line of code till uh, the end. So let's copy all this CSS from here and let's paste it over here. And now let's save this. And now let's go back to our website and let's reload this page. And now here we can see we have the mega menu and let's hover over this and uh, the sub menus are being displayed but we have some problems in the styling so let's fix that the first thing we will do is we need to decrease the width a little bit so right now we can see that the width of all the content is a little less than the width that we have over here for the mega menu so let's right click over here and let's go to inspect and let's see what is the width of the other content so if i select this and uh, if we take a look at the bottom left corner here we can see that the width is set to 890 pixels so let's go ahead and set the width of our mega menu to 890 pixels so here let's go to the css and here we have the mega menu container and uh, let's see where is the width so here we can see we have set a max width of 900 pixels so let's change this to 890 pixels and the next thing we need to do is we need to add some padding top to all the other content. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And uh, if you take a look at this uh, page structure, we have this uh, division with the class of page body. And uh, in that we have all the content of our website. So we can go ahead and add a padding top. So let's tap padding top and uh, let's try 60 pixels. And I think that looks all right. So let's add a padding top of 60 pixels to this page body. So I'll just copy this selector from here. And let's go back and uh, let's paste the selector over here. And uh, here I'll just type padding top 60 pixels. Now let's save this. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. Right now we can see we have the correct width for this mega menu. Now if you scroll down, we can see that the content of the website is being displayed through this mega menu. So we need to add a Z index to this. So I'll just right click over here and go to inspect and uh, let's select the mega menu container. And uh, let's go ahead and add a Z index and uh, let's try 500. And now let's scroll down and now we can see we don't have any problems. So let's add a Z index of 500 to the mega menu container. And the next thing we need to do is for these headings, we need to have the correct color. So these headings are basically S3. So here we can see we have these S3s. So we need to style the S3s separately. So let's do both those things. Let's go back. Here for the mega menu container, let's go ahead and type Z index. And let's type 500. And uh, now let's see whether we have the selector for the S3. Now here we can see we have sub menu S3. So we can add the color over here. So let's see what's the color and uh, the color is uh, this color right here. So I'll just copy this. I think the color was supposed to be 047. So let's copy this color from here. 
And here for the S3, let's go ahead and paste the styles. But now let's save this. Let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And uh, let's hover over this and we can see we have the correct color. And even the horror effects are working all right. And I think it will look good if we add a logo over here on the left side. So let's try and do that. So let's go to the HTML. So I'll just search for the header. And uh, here we can see we have this nav with the class of mega menu. So this is for the desktop version. And in that we have this UL. So before the UL, let's go ahead and create a logo. So here I'll just create a division and let's give it a class of logo. And I think I'll just change this to an anchor tag. And uh, let's set the href to the home page. And here I'll just type lb dot. And let's close the a tag. And uh, let's copy this uh, link from here. And I'll just paste it over here inside this href. And we can do the same for this home menu. So I'll just delete this and paste the link. Now in the same way, you can go ahead and paste the links of all these uh, pages. So you can add the link of the product page over here and the links of all these products. So you can go ahead and replace this hash with the links of your pages. Right now, let's save this. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we have this logo and here we have these menu items. Now let's add some basic styles to this so that it will look good. So I'll just right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, let's target the container division, which is mega menu. And here let's add some styles. So let's type display of flex. And uh, let's set a padding of 0 and 16 pixels. And uh, let's set align items to the center. And uh, let's also set justify content to space between. And let's copy these styles from here and uh, let's go back to our code. Let's go to the CSS and let's paste it over here inside the mega menu. So here I just paste the CSS. Now we need to add some more styles to the logo. So here I'll just type mega menu logo and I'll just set the font size to 20 pixels and uh, let's set the font weight to bold and let's save this. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the logo looks all right, but these menu items should be on the right side. So let's right click over here and go to inspect and let's see what's the problem. And uh, let's select the container division, which is uh, the UL. And here we can see for the UL, we have some margin. So if we just remove the margin, so let's set the margin to zero. Now we can see that everything looks all right. So let's set the margin of the UL to zero. So here we have the UL and uh, here we have the margin. So I'll just remove this auto from here and let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see everything looks all right. And uh, let's open another page. And here also we have the mega menu displayed. And if I click on this logo, we are taken to the home page. So with that, we have completed the desktop version. Now let's go to the mobile version. So I just decrease the width of this browser window. And now we can see that the mobile version is being displayed. Now, when we click on this icon, we need to display the menu. So for that, we need to add the JavaScript as well. So let's go back to our code and uh, let's go to the end of our code. And here, just before the body ends, I'll just create a script tag and we will add the JavaScript inside that. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy all this JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here inside this script tag. And let's save this. And let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page and let's open the mobile version and uh, let's click on this uh, icon. And here we can see we have the menus displayed. And if I click on this uh, menu, we have the sub menus displayed and everything is working all right. Let's click on this close icon and the menu disappears. I think we can decrease the max height of this menu a little bit. So let's go back to our code. 
and let's go to our CSS and let's go to the media query and uh, here we can see that we have set a max height of 100 viewport height minus the height of the menu header. So I'll just change this to let's try 80 viewport height and uh, let's save it. And let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page. And let's go back to the mobile version. And now we can see we have the correct height. And we'll also add some box shadow so that uh, we can differentiate between the mega menu and the content. So let's add some box shadow. So let's go back to our code and uh, here let's add a box shadow. So I just have box shadow. And let's set the values to 0, 18 pixels, 26 pixels, negative 10 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 for the opacity. And let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see we have this box shadow and everything is looking all right. So with that, we have completed adding our mega menu to our blogger website. So that's basically how you can add a mega menu to your blogger website. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.